Definitely that uh, because uh, last time we could not achieve because we uh, till this phase we did very well uh, last time also. But uh, the landing portion only we could not achieve properly. So definitely that's what uh, this time it's a very, very, very anxious moment. Everybody is working I and mean, uh, looking it very anxiously for this event to happen. And uh, I am sure that this time it will be a grand success. Last time, when uh, after uh, the landing uh, the process, we the, we have gone through the data what we generated in that on on flight. So based on that, corrective measures have been taken, and also that is uh, not only that one. We did something more than what we corrected, and wherever that uh, margins are less, we we enhance that margins. And at the same time, that uh, when the, that uh, that the sensors are uh, not functioning, and the, wherever the possible the appropriate redundancy is uh, put it. So that way, this time the system is because based on the lessons we learned from Chandrayaan two. So this time, the system is going with uh, more uh, ruggedness, and uh, so we are expecting this. Uh, this time it will be success. There are three. Parts. First is that uh, whatever the observations uh, had in that uh, Chandrayaan 2 mission, that has to be corrected. So there are some problems in that uh, the, the thrusting uh, thrusters. There are some problems in the guidance system and the control system. All these corrections in all these three systems which have been incorporated uh, without any, I mean, uh, it, it has been incorporated. And uh, now, uh, the, not only that one, and that in case of that uh, the landing uh, to be happened in a slightly higher velocity, land legs are uh, strengthened. And also that is uh, wherever possible, that is a redundancy is uh, incorporated in the sensor side. So that even if some system fails, that there is alternative route it will take so that the landing will happen without any problem.